Hey guys, today I'm going to uh, walk you through how to set up SuperAgent and the SuperAgent UI. First thing you need to do is to come to the repository and before cloning and, and running all of the scripts, you can just have a look at the environment variables here in the readme that are necessary. And we have basically two sets of environment variables, one for the uh, backend and then we have one for the UI. For, for the backend, we have uh, this set of environment variables that are uh, mandatory, and then we have a bunch of optional uh, environment variables depending on what tools and what uh, LLMs and what uh, basically document loaders or third-party uh, document loaders you want to use in your project. So first off, we need an OpenAI API key, which you can find in your dashboard. We need a connection string with pooling enabled if you're running a SQL database. And usually here, I just create, I use Supabase a lot, so I'll just create an instance of a database on Supabase and then paste in the pooling connection string here. And then we have the migration URL, which is basically the non-pooling connection string that we have for our database. We also have a shadow URL for databases that run on serverless environments, such as Neon DB. It's required for that type of DB. A JVT secret, which is basically a unique string. A vector store, the default one is Pinecone, and thus we also need to sign up for Pinecone and, and get our API key and Pinecone environment from the Pinecone dashboard. And then we also have tracing, which is basically if you want to save the logs of your agent runs in the DB or not. Uh, we also have environment variables for the front end, which we need to uh, basically uh, um, add as well. And these three are required. Basically, we need the uh, URL to the backend API, which will be this when we uh, boot up our backend. We need a secret and we need the front-end URL for uh, our next auth.js implementation in the UI. We also have some optional variables here for enabling billing with Stripe or uh, user uh, tracking with segment and also document loading through psychic.dev, but these are not required. So basically what we do is that we go here, clone our project, and then we go to VS Code and open up that project. We need to create our environment variables here uh, in the .env file, both in the root of the project, but also in the UI folder of the project. And the, as I mentioned earlier, these are two different set of environment variables that we need to add. The project won't work without these environment variables. So from here, we need to create a, a virtual env and what we do then is to just press shift command and p and there is a, a option here to create an environment i use a virtual uh, virtual env to do that and then i just use an interpreter and as you might see here uh, basically uh, the vs code is now installing all of the dependencies with poetry creating the virtual env etc cetera, etc cetera. While it's running, we can go through the actual setup. So basically, we have uh, the backend basically has two primary folders. We have the API folder, which basically is uh, the uh, API endpoints here uh, for uh, our app. And as you see, all of the API endpoints that you see on docs.superagent.sh are listed here in this folder. Um, and then we have some utilities uh, for creating tools, uh, text splitter, prompts, uh, parsers, documents, and uh, agents. And you can look at each of these files respectively to see how they work. Uh, I would say that the tooling part would be very important. Here you can see how we create tools for SuperAgent and what, what is necessary for that. I'll do separate, uh, I'll, I'll record separate videos for that later on. 
Um, so that's that. And then we have the Prisma uh, in implementation, which, which basically uh, runs a community version of Prisma to, for Python to run migrations and stuff like that. Now we see that our environment is ready down here as well which is great. Uh, so when the environment is ready and everything is installed, we go back to our, uh, basically our uh, terminal. And from here, the first thing we want to do is to run Prisma Generate, which will generate the Prisma client for us. So we'll do that. And the Prisma client is generated. And the next step is to start the backend server. And we do that by running the uvcorn app.main app dash dash reload uh, command. And the, when the server is started, it will be accessed on this URL basically. It'll take some time and it's booting up and you'll know that it works when you go to your browser and then just add that URL and it should say detail not found. And the reason for that is that there is no API endpoint there for this route specifically, but you know that it works when you get this message. Great. So back to the, uh, back to the uh, terminal. And then we open up a new tab and now we're going to install all of the dependencies for Superagent UI. And we do that by just running npm i or yeah, npm i, there we go. And when that's run, we can just do npm run dev and that will boot up the next JS server and we'll be able to access that server through basically this URL, which we're doing now. So we go to our uh, browser and then add that URL. And what we'll see here will be the logging page basically. And when we see that, we know that it is working correctly. This takes some time, the first, first run, but after that will be pretty fast. There we go.